All right, Hello. welcome to the stream. Hello. EMC back for another adventure in Commander Land. Oh Rose. boy. We got Austin here. Let me flip him for everybody. I've returned. Also flip him off for everybody. Uh, hey. Right. <laughs> we got Brandon down south. We got Steven. I always do that wrong the other way. There you go. Uh, I'm hosting once again. Steven's on sabbatical. Might have to bounce up well, your game I figured, hey, I figured Ryan did such a good job last week. We'll let him do it again. That Thank just means I'm getting killed first Lotto. this game. We love first. you. <laughs> That's why, why do you think I stopped hosting, man? Everybody kills a stream host first. Hey, Lotto, Lotto with the nine-month subscription. Welcome hey. back, Lotto. Thank you, sir. Lotto. Lotto's a good man. How's audio sound, Lotto? I can't hear you guys. <laughs> Are y'all talking? <laughs> oh god, do we have audio? <laughs> we do, yeah. Oh okay. god. But uh Well yeah. So um yeah, thanks for joining us everybody. Uh we're some of us are gonna be doing what we did last week and um just voting on this turn zero discussion here on what we're playing. Um in the Discord, I put up my commanders that I have available and everyone already voted for me to play Riku, so that's what I'll be playing tonight. Um, but yeah, we'll go, go ahead, Brian, go ahead. No, Riku, it's going to be a good time. Draw lots of cards, do lots of fun stuff. You re you reworked all your decks, right, Steven? A little bit. I'm in the process of updating. Um, I told Ryan it took me, uh, about five hours, um, a couple of days ago to sit down and, and update all like 20 of my commander decks because this new, this new commander set actually has some stuff I wanted it. So yeah and and you know they printed about a hundred more cards that make treasure tokens so i have to update all my red decks <laughs> oh yeah yeah ancient copper dragon dude all right yeah. uh so i'll kick off the deck conversation i know steven already did riku uh for me i'm gonna be letting y'all vote i uh, didn't really know what i wanted to play let me swap over so y'all can see what i'm working with here I'm thinking i want to play one of these three and I'll let y'all decide. I got Teneb the Harvester, Taffy Eric's Daughter, and I have the Eternal. No! <laughs> the least no of all those three is Teneb for me. I think Safi. I haven't seen Safi in action in a hot It'll be a short I, game. I don't think I have either. I'll I know, go Safi. I know how Neheb yeah. plays, so. All Safi, right. do not let him get Sun Titan or this game is over, dude. <laughs> Let's run blue, Steven. Oh, look. I'm running blue, brother. Hey, there All you right, go. I'll be playing Safi. Uh, as Brandon or Steven alluded to, my bad. It is a Sun Titan combo deck. Uh, I'll be looking to do Sun Titan stuff and combo uh, pretty regularly. Uh, a lot of the combos are only value combos, although uh, they can be pretty nasty and let me run, run away with the game pretty easy. Um, I'll go ahead and pass it over to Austin. Tonight, 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 I'm playing the- Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, turning, I'm turning on my streamer voice. Uh, tonight I'm playing at the uh, party time pre-con with Nalia Dianis. Uh She's a human rogue who allows me to look at the top card of my library and I can cast cleric, warrior, rogue, or wizard spells from the top. And at the beginning of combat on my turn, if I have a full party, I can put a 1-1 counter on each creature I control. And those creatures gain death touch until end of turn. I played this during our community Sunday event, and I was pleasantly surprised by this deck. But I kind of figured this deck was going to be one of the stronger precons they've printed. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where it can be improved and adding in some improvements where I can. So yeah, gotta get some reps. Out. Gotta get some reps. I suggest yeah. you play it at least five times before you make any changes. I know that seems like a lot, but I no, already I already know. Out. I already know where in the land base it needs to be upgraded. It needs the battle bond, it needs fetches, it needs uh, shots. I also suggest that for pretty much anyone in the community. Uh, play a deck probably about five times before you really start making cuts. It should be very apparent what you need to cut after about five games. I don't play in Riku. He draws cards. Allegedly. That's it. <laughs> Allegedly. I've never seen it, but I've heard. It's like you, have you never played against my Riku deck, dude? 
I think it was like Bigfoot. It, I've heard about it, but I've never seen it do what it's supposed to do. <laughs> well, that's because I don't ever do what I'm supposed to do, but hang on, let me see if I can get it to focus. Uh, Wait, Aether's oh, the commander? I thought Aetherflux Reservoir was the commander of that deck. Dude, I wish. <laughs> Good thing I we had eggs. Bro, they're kind of shiny, it is, bro. So shiny. Oh, boy. I've got to judge the next cuts before he even plays the deck. Shout out to all the Riku fans out there. There's probably maybe two of y'all because there's no art for Riku on the internet because y'all don't draw any. It's the only art. <laughs> There's that's a lie. There's like two others, but it's like fan drawn stuff. So, hi right, Brandon, what do you got? Uh, I was thinking about letting people decide, and then Austin said something that really stuck with me. Uh, play what you want, and I want to play Grinko. So, uh, that's oh god, doing. goblins. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, he's in goblin play. mode. Yeah, I actually told my wife today that I was feeling like I was trying to slip it into goblin mode. <laughs> so. Felt short today. Then. Well. We'll uh, <laughs> follow the prophecy. All right. Uh, without further ado, we're going to kick off a little animation sequence here, and then we'll be getting ready, rolling up to see who's going first. Oh, yeah. Oh, I it's me. Boy, I hope it's me, too. Why can't I see comments on Twitch? Why is Twitch goofed? Brian blocked you. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you said that though, because I need to just do this. Pop up. Are we back? Are we back? We are back. Yes. Hello. Brian is ignoring us. Okay, anyways. Sorry, uh, I said, are we back? I didn't know if yeah, the yeah, animation yeah. sequence played yeah, out or not. I was reading a lot of stuff in the chat. Oh, uh, okay. I got you. I'm going to roll D20. D20, you say? Oh, no. I got a six, bro. I got a oh. one. Oh, 18. I got a nine. Yes, I'm going for it. What'd you get, Austin? You got a one? That's one, baby. I didn't go last. Going second with the nine. All right. All right. I want y'all to see that I did not stack my deck and put Soul Ring on top, all right? So I'm going to shuffle it up on the camera for you here. All right, yeah. I also want to see your opening hand, just to make sure that you did it. Okay, yeah. Well, you're going to see it real quick. Going to learn today, brother. <laughs> you know what? I'll keep this first hand, even though it's not the most optimum of hands. All right. Does anybody want to cut? Uh, yeah. Okay. Where, where do you want to cut it at? Hang on. Let me... Chris. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, God. They're, they're so slippery. Yeah, it's on Soul Ring. Right here? Uh, back and some other that? back, other back. This, yeah, right there. Okay, we'll cut it right there. Yeah. All right, so we'll put this on the bottom. Yeah. You just put a soul ring right on top of my deck, bro. Did you see that? Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> take. I'm gonna take a mole. A one lander with a with a bounce land is my only land. Oh, it would have been so cool if I got soul ring and I just oh. <laughs> would have been so good, dude. It actually did get a pretty good hand, though. Um, I like my first hand. I'm going to keep it. It's, it's got a... So I added, like, 12 new cards to this deck, and this hand has one of those new cards that I added. So I'm excited yeah, I, to see how it plays out. I got enough lands, so I guess I'll keep this hand. It's uh, actually... Yeah, whatever. We'll keep All it. Right. We'll see what we can do. Ready when you guys are. Uh, I'm ready. I'm... Still eating my first mulligan here. What? Oh, sweet, cool. delicious mulligans. Yep. Mm. TJ. TJ, I heard. Got these new new green eclipse. No, not an eclipse. They're uh, katana. Green katana sleeves. I like the dragon shield ones. They're so smooth, dude. And they're so clear, too. You can, like, see. I'll show you in a minute when I play a card. But... All right, Brandon. I'm uh, you ready? pretty good, brother. Y'all gonna All let right. the goblin deck go first, really? Mm. Hey, they didn't. The gods did. Here we go. Draw a card. Oh, that makes it even better. I'm gonna play a uh, snow covered. Oh, tank. that's it, GG. GG. <laughs> GG. Called it there. Got uh, that land. I'm gonna pay one mana and I'm gonna cast Faithless Looting. Oh, -ho. Looting. Looting. There you go. Looting. Uh, Good stuff. Good stuff, really. Wow. Also known as. I will discard burn at the stake 
and uh, yeah, why not? A thrill of possibility. Pass turn. Short Got a burn of the stake. What's that do? I assume it burn. is. Yeah, Took, uh, it's a five mana as an additional cost to cast a spell. Tap any number of untapped creatures you control. Burn at the stake. Deals damage to any target equal to three times the number of creatures tapped this way. Okay, that's cool. From uh, Addison Restored? Is that the set? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my turn. Draw. Oh, yes. I'll kick things off with a Dryad Arbor and fast turn. All right. Let's drop out a mountain and fast turn. Boom. Wait, I'm going to draw a card. Ah! I'm going to I'm gonna play a Path of Ancestry fast turn. Y'all like that two-second turn I took? Man, that was crazy fast. Bro, I love that. I love that for you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nobody's playing blue but me. Nah, it's all up to you, dog. Why do I keep this pyroblast in my opening hand then? <laughs> oh my god, y'all, we gotta start over. All right, you can. Uh, y'all knew, y'all knew. You said y'all <laughs> knew I was playing pyroblast, so you was like, all right, we ain't gonna play blue. That's all right. When somebody takes control of one of your creatures, you'll be able to blow it up. I'll be able to blow. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I, ain't, I don't know, man. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to pay two mana and play Grinzo. Ooh. Havoc Razor. Y'all going to love my next turn, though, for real. It's going to be good. And then I will pass my turn. All right, I draw. It's going to be a new card that's never been played in TMC history. Uh-oh. Right. Yeah. Not if Ryan plays it first. Stay tuned. <laughs> Tune in at six hours when Ryan's turn two ends, and you'll find out. <laughs> I'm about to summon it. All right. I'll go ahead and play a windswept teeth and I'll fetch. Actually, okay, it's gonna be really, really good for Austin. The card I'm gonna play. That sounds bad. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing for Austin. Austin likes to hear that. Uh, so yeah. Pyroblast can still target spell and permanent. I'll just get a regular planes. And I'll tap my Dryad Arbor in my planes, and I'll play a Fauna Shaman. I wish it was blue. Test her. Blow it up. Let's see what I get. Oh, okay, that's all right. That doesn't change my play, though. I'm going to uh, drop a forest out. Oh, my God, the forest is so glary. Oh, and man. I'm going to cast out an enchantment called Oath of Druids. And then I'm going to instep. Pass turn. So that's on that. Austin's upkeep, before draw... Uh, that Oath of Druids is going to trigger Austin. What is Oath of Druids? So, before you draw, during each player's upkeep, if that player controls fewer creatures than target opponent, yep. that player may reveal cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals a creature card, and then put that card into play, and all the other cards go to your graveyard. Okay. So, we do that now? Yep. Okay. Uh, Corpse Auger. The first one? Okay, well, <laughs> I'm hoping it helps me at least. Okay, now I draw? Yes. Okay. All right, I will... Oh, it's, it's going to hit Brandon too, bro, because Brian has two creatures. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. I'll pay two and play Folk Hero, uh, legendary enchantment background. Uh, commander creatures you own have, whenever you cast a spell that shares a creature type with this creature, draw a card. This ability only triggers once a turn. Pass turn. And uh, Oath the Druids pops off for Brandon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me see, is it a May effect? So that it is a May effect, Brandon. You don't have to do it. But uh, if you want to, you can. I flip the, until I hit a creature and that creature. You flip until you hit a creature, that creature comes out, everything else goes to your graveyard. Yeah, I will do that. Bro! Bro! Mountain. Oh, you said you will do it. I thought you said you won't do it. I'm like, come on. Mountain, uh-oh. Oh, he forgot to pull more creatures in his deck, bro. He just <laughs> <laughs> killed himself oh, to death. There we go. Goblin we'll Trash Master. There you go. Trash Master? Yep. 
sack a goblin, destroy an artifact. Other goblins get plus one, plus one. Nice. Yep. All right, and then it's my turn? Yep. Yep. All right, I will draw. Ryan, I swear if you blow this up, Drew's up before it hits me, bro. I'll be so mad, bro. I'll be so mad. Nah, <laughs> Need to say that, that ain't me. That ain't you? All right, cool. That's good. I ain't got to worry about you having a creature on the board if I just go infinite and win. <laughs> is that an artifact Austin has over there? That is true. That is no, true. That's, uh, it's believer. a legendary enchantment. It's one of the new ones. Oh, legendary enchantment. Folk Hero. Folk okay. Hero. F O L K Hero. Yeah, His commander go. has an ability. Oh, it's a background. Okay. Yeah, yeah, background. But his commander's not out yet, so. Right. Um, it's a white card draw. Pretty good. These are cool because you can, if you have something good with enchantments, you can basically do. Uh, just an additional way to do Voltron now. Just run a bunch they, of... They are them. pretty sweet, dude. I like the commanders especially that allow you to have a background as your in your command zone too, right? Some of them do that? The ones that say choose a background, yeah. Yeah, some of them do that, I believe, yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm going to go to combat. Do. I'm going to swing three, three at Steven. All right, bro, no blocks. Take three. All right. Uh, when Grinzo hits... Uh, exile the top card of that player's library. Go into turn, you may cast that card and spend mana as though it were any color. Oh, no! Have three it's mana. exiled. It's exiled. <laughs> it's exiled, yeah. No! Uh, well, I can't cast no. it, so. Oh, thank um, God. It's right, still yeah. exiled, though. Remember that. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't be happier. I see this as a win win for everyone. <laughs> so, so, either way, though, it was going to get milled to my graveyard by my enchantment, probably. So Yeah, but now it's exiled. Yeah. But now I can't win the game. So. <laughs> right. I got to hit someone in the head enough times. I guess in that case, then, I'm going to pay. I'm like, three what other win cons do I have right now? <laughs> like. <laughs> A cast uh, sensation gorger. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, strap in. A sensation gorger, huh? 2-2 two, two with kinship. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may look at the top card of your library. If it shares a creature type with sensation gorger, you may reveal it. If you do, each player discards his or her hand and draws four cards. Ooh, Ooh don't like that. Uh, <laughs> he is a goblin shaman. So, here we go. Here we go. Faster. <laughs> I gotta set your repeat. All right, untap. Yep. Draw. You don't Pl like wheels? Plenty of time. I'll fetch with what is for two. Bro, I put I put wheels on the bus, man. Little, little mini wheels. Take These little go kart wheels. Well, Brian, did you? You could have triggered out the druids, man, if you wanted oh, to. Brandon had three, huh? Yeah, well, I haven't yep. shuffled yet. I'll just crack to the middle of my pack. Don't there. say. If, if you all to, brother. I think I will. <laughs> Not a bad idea. No. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. We're, we're uh, I'll, bring, I'll, bring, I'll bring back the wooded foothills I just fetched with. I'm just kidding. I haven't, pl I haven't played that yet. I'll bring back the windswept heath that I haven't played. Oh, no, why did I remind him, dude? <laughs> yeah, that's your fault. <laughs> it's all your fault. All right. Uh, I will go to my main phase now. And Brian goes play, infinite this Play the play. land. <laughs> Oh, I literally caused the, caused the game to end. Weird. Almost what, what the Legion does. Yeah, but I didn't even get to use it. <laughs> Sounds like a bad card. <laughs> Anyways, I'll get a plains and a forest. Oh my god, here we go. So if he gets Safi Eric's daughter out with Sun Titan on the board. He pretty much controls the game. But he has to have a sack outlet too, actually, to sack the Sun Titan. He sacks the Eric's daughter, uh, targeting Sun Titan, sacks the Sun Titan, brings Sun Titan back, Eric's daughter comes back out. Repeat. So if he gets a sack outlet, it's GG. Yeah, I'll pay two and play Safi. Yeah. So he probably doesn't have a two drop sack outlet unless he's got altar. And 
and then I will just pass turn. Oh, wow, he didn't do it. All right, untap, upkeep. I get to use my card once. That's all I care about, bro. Um, reveal from the top. All right, while Steven builds the top 30 cards of his deck. Here comes the birds of Don't paradise. forget to like and subscribe. No! <laughs> bro, hold up. Where are my creatures at, dog? You don't run at me. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Where are my creatures at, bro? Did I push them in here? <laughs> Hold up, I forgot if I put creatures in here or not, bro. I don't remember. I'm this sure part might be bad, actually. Oops, I'm, all spells. Oops, I'm sure I there's a consecrated I'm sure. I was going to say, I'm sure there's a consecrated Sphinx in there somewhere. He found a Yu Gi Oh card. Well, I hit, I hit uh, Rael. I'd like to disqualify uh, Steven for playing cards from the wrong game. <laughs> shut up, Brad. You shut up, Brad. Okay, what card is it, though? Because I can't tell from your. It's, it's, it's Rael. Rael the ever Ryel the Everwise. It is a three drop uh X3. How do you spell it? R I E L L E. R I E E. R I E E E. I got up on the stream. R I E L L E. R I E L L E. Alright, guys. That's the only reason. Wheel of, I don't wheel like of misfortune for three mana. I agree, Austin. Yeah, I, I, that's like, like outside of Yu-Gi-Oh streams, I wouldn't use these custom cards that I can't see. see. I don't know how that got in there, man. I don't remember putting that <laughs> card in there, but there it is. They got mine to their own. It's so. just a very, it's a very custom proxy, if you will. All right, so uh, we're doing that thing there. Each player secretly chooses a number zero or greater than all player reveal those numbers and determine the highest and lowest. Uh, Will of Misfortune deals damage equal to the highest number to that player who chose that number, and everyone else, uh, whoever did not choose the lower number, uh, wheels. So basically, if you don't want to wheel, choose a low number. Um, yeah, you guys ready? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't sound very sure, bro. <laughs> All right, all three. We're gonna put our numbers, reveal the numbers. Uh, so I'm one, thinking. Hold on a sec. He's thinking. Hold on. The flame swordsman really threw him off, dude. He doesn't. <laughs> I'm trying. Wait, to, I wish I had the Jeopardy to, music. I'm trying to remember how wheel. Of, I'm trying to eat parts what wheel of distortion reads because when I ever see it, I always get goofed up on it. Yeah, it's a weird one. Uh, okay. The highest and lowest deals damage equals to the highest, and the rest discard. Basically, if you have the highest number, you take damage to whatever number you're is. If you're, you're guaranteed the lowest to will. number, if you're the lowest number, then you're keeping your hand. Everyone in the middle wheels. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> oh boy! All right, you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. All right, on three, one, two, three. No! Oh, Austin almost got me, bro. He got 11. I got 10. Brandon's got four. Ryan's got one. So if Ryan doesn't wheel. Austin takes 11 damage. Brandon, you, me, and Austin all wheel. So discard, crop rotation, power blast, double vision. Wheel of Misfortune deals damage equal to the highest number to each player who didn't choose that number. So you are oh, it deals equal to equal who chose that number is what I think it says. There's like 100 each words. Player who chose... Yeah, who... Who chose that number? Yeah, if you chose the highest number, you take that much damage. All right. So if both of you hit eleven, it's just if you tied, both of you. If, if we would have tied, we both would have took eleven damage. Yeah, um, so I just card one, two, weird, three, four, five cards. Uh, so Rael will trigger um, after I discard. Whenever I discard one more card, the first time he's turn, draw that many cards. So I'll just I'll draw five, two, three, four, five, and then I'll also draw seven. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bruh! I got a discard down the head size, man. Oh! Yeah, I, honestly, I I wanted to wheel, but <laughs> I thought one would be sufficient. What? But what? I figured somebody was going to do zero, not everyone would do like 20 damage to themselves. I'm just picking what card. <laughs> One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, and seven. Dude, I don't know. I don't know how I'm winning, y'all. 
I really don't know. Um, what are you talking about? I got 40 life. <laughs> bro, I, I, I just, uh, well, you exiled my Aether Flux, and so I'm kind of like, uh. So I'm going to discard an island. This is my instep. Uh, enter the infinite tide channel pathway, Mizzix Mastery, and a mana drain. Pastor. Otto says, uh, Rael trigger resolves after the wheel. Is it resolved after the wheel? All right. I'll do Oath. Well, I still draw like the same amount of cards, though, I think. Uh, Valiant Changeling, and then I'll draw. Play a Starlet Sanctum. Hey, Austin. What's up? Do you want to trigger Oath of the Leeches before you draw? Oh, it's Oath of the Leeches. Where's that? Or Oath of Druids. My bad. Oh, yeah, I already did. Uh, that oh, the oh, other, yeah. the White Oath is the Oath of Leeches. Too. Oh, I actually she's a 14. Uh, Rael is a 14 3 currently. Ah, uh, okay. So there's one strategy that I have. Smack somebody. So do we need to be worried about Ryan's forward state at the moment? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah he, he doesn't have the infinite loop now. Wait, wait, does he? I know. He doesn't have a stack he outlet. Stack outlet, right? If he, needs, if he has a stack outlet, he has the infinite loop. And then we just need like a, I don't even know what you'd do to stop it, honestly. Um, what, second, maybe? And I will point out that he wanted to make sure that he didn't wheel his hand there. I was trying to wheel. <laughs> I just You uh, didn't try very hard. One. You just put a one. <laughs> well, I figured somebody was going to say zero, oh, but uh, apparently everyone wanted to deal 10 damage of themselves for some reason. Nah, well, he's, got, he's got the card in his <laughs> hand, bro. <laughs> well, if I deal with it, can you guys uh, go nice on me? Because I did take 11 life in that last That game. is no problemo, brother. All right. I will pay a white and a black to despark Sun Titan. Exile target permanent with mana value four or greater. All right. Wow. Okay. Did you just let him get exiled? Uh, what was I supposed to do about it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's not how Saffy works. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> I guess there's nothing you can do because it uh, doesn't kill the Sun Titan, it exiles it. Oh, Don't worry, Ryan. My, my Aether Flux is exiled. Too. On his board too. <laughs> my, uh... And I forgot to read your cards. That's all I really can do this turn. I'll pass turn. That was a good turn, dude. Sure it was. Alright. <laughs> so I flip till I hit a creature. Oh, can I? No. If you want. Uh, only if someone has more creatures than you, right? And, no, uh, no currently I don't. You're tied. And no, so I cannot do it. But... What I can do is look at the top card of my library and see if it shares a creature type. <gasps> I don't want to share if it does. <laughs> it, it doesn't. Uh, I'm going to play a mountain. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. I'm gonna pay four mana and cast Krinko. And then Krinko. Uh, That's bad, I will guys. Go to combat. It's and almost then... as bad as uh Aether Flux and Sun Titan getting exiled, Brian. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Alright, I got ways to deal with that. Ryan, how big are your creatures? I got a 2-2, two, two, a 2-2, two, two, and a 1-1. One, one. I've never seen Ryan's deck function without Sun Titan. <laughs> well, there's other cards that do what Sun Titan does. Correct. Oh, really Austin <laughs> got it figured out real quick, dude. So what, the other two are like what? Also, there's cards to Karmic. get cards out of Exile. Karmic Guide, Revel Arc, and then and they happen you know, to be in my colors. There's, yeah, there's there's a white there's a white card that says put face up, uh, 
card in exile into your graveyard, I want yep. to say. Yep. Yep. And then there's a green card that can return it to the bottom of your deck, I think. I uh, didn't know about the green card, but... Yep. Yeah, I knew they were out there. I thought about it for... Uh, what's his name? Artifact Man, Ozgear. I'm going to send two three threes at Ryan. Right, I'll take six. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go... <laughs> Uh, your commander. <laughs> sure. And, and I will pass turn. Alright, you're in step. I'm gonna pay a green and activate my Fauna Shaman. Discarding Dustwatch Recruiter to tutor a creature. Lotto had me pegged the whole time. <laughs> See what I want here, boys. And Ryan, Bro, I can't believe to, uh, it's only like turn four. Ryan, you'll uh, be able to uh, Oath the Druids at your upkeep, so if you want to. Sweet. Make sure we get those triggers in, boys. I'm still looking, guys. I didn't exactly know what I was going to go get. I hadn't played this deck in a long time either. Typically don't play this one because this one is the actual like I try to combo deck. <laughs> this deck makes me think so hard. <laughs> Ooh, Plex Caster would be. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yes, yeah, fine. Okay. I'll go grab Rift Sweeper. Oh, that's so sweet. Ryan's gonna get my Aether Flux back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't shuffling my whole deck. Oops. Rookie mistake. Uh-oh. All right. And now on tap, go to upkeep. Both the uh, triggers. Yep. Uh-oh. If. Oof. Walking ballista. <laughs> Where does he come out as? A zero, zero. Oh! Does he... I guess it has to hit. Alright, sure. Oh, the, all the cards go to the graveyard, right? Uh, yeah. Four lands and broken bond, and then... Uh, he dies. And then I draw for turn. the tokens for this deck. Uh -oh. I'll uh, play a Wooded Bastion as a land. I'll uh, pay two. Play a Rift Sweeper targeting Sun Titan. You don't say. And I'll shuffle it into my library. Right to the top. All right. And then I'll tutor it in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I knew where I put my tokens. Is that card in there just to get Sun Titan out of exile? Yeah, I'm playing both of them. Yeah. That's what I would do. Combo deck, dude. Wombo combo, baby. I mean, there there are like three or four other cards that do very similar things to what uh, Sun Titan does. I'm a little too good at getting Sun Titan and a little not good enough at getting the other combo pieces. <laughs> it's the one thing that this deck's problem. Well, I'm hoping you run four copies. 
Yeah, it helps when you run a four copy and it's always curled straight to the top. That's true. <laughs> but four, four copies. That too, yeah. Um, let's see. My commander was golded, you say? Yes. Why y'all hate me so much? Um, uh, well, I couldn't swing at Austin because of a deal we made, and Steven's got a big 14 guy over there, so... That's right, brother. I didn't exile any of your cards and cast them. I just goaded your commander, that's all. Just a two-drop anyway. I'm just putting you on my level. How big is uh, Rael's butt? Three. Three. Unfortunate. <laughs> um. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'll pay you one. You seen this man? <laughs> Actually, I'll do it with the land. Say, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I'll tutor or I'll, I'll discard a selfless spirit to tutor again. I'll get a Kami of the False Hope. I will sack Safi targeting Kami and then go to combat. <laughs> and I'll, I'll go ahead and, uh, oh, I gotta pay one for the Kami, sorry. That's turn. Wait, who'd you attack? Nobody. I sack Safi. Oh. Untap, upkeep draw. Shock out a breeding tool, a breeding tool, breeding pool, take two. Two different things. Magic is a anti-breeding tool. Nature's lore, cast. Uh, right, I'll go to 15. I'll go get a forest. You hold the legions or druid, Steven? I missed it. No, bro, I forgot! Oh, no. <laughs> Shoot, brother. I haven't shuffled yet. Is that okay? <laughs> Can I resolve it? I'm gonna resolve it. We'll just shove that land back in here. Uh, so before, put that on top, and then let's resolve this oath of druids, brother. See if I got any creatures left in here. I don't know if I do or not. Some good stuff in here, bro. Rael is gonna get so swole, man. Like the flame swordsman's been working out, you know. Man, Steven has this thing about flame swordsman's getting really, really big. Storm kiln artist. Rael, I believe, is somewhere around a twenty. We'll just say twenty for now. Going to resolve the nature's lore now. Get the land out, drop it for turn, um, and then pay three for. Where's he at? Hold on. Laboratory Maniac. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Get a treasure. Don't you? Well, um, whenever I cast an instant sorcery spell, I do. Faster. You've cast nature lore after he came out. 
Yeah, sorry, I screwed my turn up so bad, even I don't even know what's going on. Good point. <laughs> Oh, that's a nasty card, bro. All right, on tap, draw card. Play planes. Uh, not enough to. I'm gonna get some food, man. Good idea. We call this Tabletop Magic Commander because we're always eating while we're playing at the ta dinner table. Always, dude. I'll pay three. It's a side effect. That it is. That and it is. cast uh, Bitter Blossom, Phyrexian Arena combo. Black Market Connections, brand new card. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, choose one or more. I can pay life, create a treasure, pay two, draw a card. Uh, pay three, uh, create a three two shapeshifter with change them. And uh, go to combat. I'll swing four at Steven. Whoa, wait, what's going on? Awesome, swinging four at you. Swinging four. Four, how much uh, toughness? Two. Two. No blocks, take four. My turn. My turn, all right. Uh, do I untap before upkeep? Uh, yep, yes. Station Gorger trigger. On uh, draw. Goblin Ringleader. Actually, does it go off if we're equal or no? No. Oh. Uh, well, I'll reveal it off the top. We're going to wheel in uh, draw four. Draw four. Yep. Yay. Charge your hand, draw four. By the way, guys, my epic four card hand I had before wheeling. Oh, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune? <laughs> no. Uh, no. My sensation gorge. I'm gonna reveal that I shoot a goblin, and we're gonna discard our hands and draw four cards. Discard and draw four, everyone. Yes. Yep. Okay. Well, I just discarded a consecrated sphinx and a niv mezzet. Okay. Cool. Oh, Jamie drew those with both the legions or both the druids on the board. <laughs> yeah, it's going so well for me the first time playing this card. <laughs> Uh, I will then. Play wow. a snow covered mountain. Sensation Gorge is pretty cool. Did Austin play the, the yeah. super, super yeah. special Austin brand new enchantment black market connections? He did. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pay two mana and I'm going to cast. Dragon fodder makes two one one red goblins. That it does. There we go. You guys can see my face now. <laughs> I didn't know Steven was well known rapist Bill Cosby. <laughs> of course, wow. yes. My secret identity is revealed. It starts out this whole time we've been playing Magic the Gathering was. Well-known rapist Bill Cosby. <laughs> I like that's how it's his title. It's good. I'm going to make three mana and uh, then cast out a Zozu the Punisher. Yikes. Be punishing. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, Zozu the Punisher deals two damage to that land's controller. I'm going to tap sack my treasure for blue and cast Brainstorm, which will trigger uh, my guy and make another treasure. How many cards in hand for everyone? Four, because we just will. How do you tell if someone just drew a windfall when they ask that question? <laughs> um, for, then for, I will... Did you do the Rael trigger, Ian, off Brandon's windfall thing? Or his wheel? 
Oh, snap, dude. No, I didn't, so I get to draw four cards. Thank you, Ryan. I'm going to tap Krinko and make uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven goblins. So I have nine. Nine goblins. Uh, a lot of dudes. That's a lot of jello pudding pops. Okay. Uh, Sorry, I'm just trying to think of things that I would say, you know. Here, taste this chloroform. No, he would say, uh, here, I think someone just spiked my drink. Can you check it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Uh, I'm Cut the part out. Grinzo. And Sensation Gorger at Steven. But why? Oh my god. I don't like rapists. Duh. Alright, does any uh, what are the powers on those creatures? They're both three threes. Grinzo, you if he would combat damage to you, I can either go a target creature you control or exile the top card of your library, and uh, I may play it and cast mana as if it were any color. No blocks. Weird. Take six. Take six. Somebody's breaking yeah, their brain. Please, please go to my Rael <laughs> that has like 25 power. <laughs> uh, that is what I'm going to go, yes. Yes! I mean, you can swing it on your own if you want it. I don't know why you need me to force you to do it. Well, <laughs> she doesn't have, or I'm sorry, he. I, I mixed up his pronouns. Cut that part out. <laughs> they. Come on now, Bill. This Cox. guy right here <laughs> has no trample, so he would just obliterate one creature and then die. Yep. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Uh, so he's goaded, and uh, I will pass my turn. All right. How many creatures do you have, Brandon? We are, uh, we're actually testing a, uh, see how long it takes for us to get banned on all platforms, Lotto. It's going pretty well so far. Um, I think we're getting close. We gotta be getting close, dude. All right, anyway, Oath Triggers, I'm Hope Keep. Because <laughs> Brandon has more creatures than me. Four Frog. Go to the graveyard. Frogs for days, boys. For two days, exactly. Yes. Two days. Two all. All two of them. And then I'll draw for turn. Let's see. I'll pay one. Play a soul ring. I'll play a land tapped. Which will maybe take two damage, Brennan. Well, Brennan can't take damage if it's not there. No, no, no I, his creature makes me take damage when I play a land. Ah. It's getting my commander ready for next game. Why do you think this game's about to end? No, I took a piece out and I had to put it back in. I feel like this game might end pretty soon, though. Yeah, my precon's about to combo off, boys. Get ready. <laughs> That's right, them precon's are pretty strong nowadays, brother. Keep reprinting devoted druid into him, so there you go. Brandon. Yeah. You're getting hit from someone. Oh, no. Who? No. Gosh, y'all don't listen. <laughs> Those who triggered and don't do damage to me. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. What'd you say? I wasn't listening. What's going on? Have y'all read Zozu the Punisher? Nope. No, I'm uh, just trolling you, dude. He deals two damage anytime you play a land. 
you take two damage. All right. Uh, Mr. Cool, get me on game two, y'all. I bet. I bet. My deck will be ready. He's not playing a pre-con. He's playing his regular con. Ha. A con. Post-con. Post-construction. I'll be playing that deck. Ryan, is it my turn yet? What's going on? Uh, I was doing a big think. Sorry. Mm. Big donk. Big donk. I'll pay two and play an angelic renewal. Yeah. Don't worry, Mr. Cool, me either. I got a new Moldrotha deck. Hopefully it's going to be here before next Wednesday. It's uh, one of Nick's favorite commanders, but I built my own version of it as well. Oh, you, Steven. In my Terry and Untap, I'm not going to miss the upkeep trigger this time. I'm going to not mess my turn up. Uh, reveal from the top until I hit a creature. There's an island. Intuition. Steve! Steve! That's me, brother! Ho <laughs> ho! Uh, then draw for turn. Misty Rainforest. Tap it, crack it, pay a life, go fetch out a land. Bring out the island. I'm gonna pay two li uh, pay two life in, uh, for this Phyrexian mana and Gitaxian probe targeting myself, and uh, that's gonna trigger Stormkiln Artist. So I'll generate a treasure token. All right, I think Stephen wins. Uh, and then I draw a card. No, not quite yet. Are you sure? What? Tell me, Ryan. How could I win right now? Just tell me. Check the the uh, stream screen. Streamlabs came unmuted again. Mythics Mastery? What do you mean? Your Streamlabs is... I mean, not Streamlabs. Spell Table. Oh. Weird. Oh, uh, let's see if I got enough manner here to get that old Mythics Mastery out the graveyard, brother. Hmm. This is only turn five. I'm going to sacrifice two treasure tokens uh, for two green and tap for one blue for a colorless and cast out an Eternal Witness, which is a custom proxy Eternal Witness. It's not a Yu-Gi-Oh! proxy, though. Surprise, surprise. Targeting Mizzix's Mastery to go to my hand. Never mind. Yeah, I was confused. For whatever reason, I was thinking the, the overload was flashback. Back, Steve? Yeah, not quite. Not yet. You're thinking of... Oh, wait, no. Past in Flames? Yeah, but Past in Flames doesn't cast everything. Yeah. But yeah, I was thinking Past in Flames, too. Just gives everything a flashback. Fair enough. We're dead next turn, unless Steven can make a bunch of treasures. Uh, he has to figure out how big his Rael is now, because he has to swing it. Bro, it's so big, bro. I mean, we don't, can't I can, it me, I can so. save him the math if you want. <laughs> That's where you get smack one of your dudes if he swings at you. I don't have enough mana to overload Mizzix's Mastery this turn, so I can't win this turn, but next turn, most def for show, you know what I'm saying, bro? Hard to hear. Bad bussin' for real, for real. No cap. Yeehaw. <laughs> Man, that shit low-key. It do be bussin', though. What he said. So, what he said. I'm, I'm, like, younger than all of you, and I... Still don't know what the fuck any of that shit means. <laughs> Fucking, I'm you, trying to keep up. You One green cat that's a boomer. Is that what that is? <laughs> oh, okay. Weird ass language. I swear to God. Yeet. I think that's all I can do, bro. Hold on, four, five, six. I got seven cards in my hand. Uh, I'm gonna save some mana up just inconspicuously here. I do have to go to combat and attack somebody with my. 
gender fluid flame swordsman that often, for some reason, does not like. So since he doesn't like him so much, I'll swing him with Austin. Okay. Let me see how big he is. Hang on. You know what the reason I don't like him? It's because I can't tell what it is on stream. Because it says Flame Swordsman, it has a Yu-Gi-Oh frame, and it has the Yu-Gi-Oh art. So it looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. So <laughs> I'd rather not have to ask, hey, what is that? Hey, what is that? Because on Spell Bro, I, Well, I gotta tell you once, and then you remember. <laughs> He's a 22-3. <laughs> he got them old gender fluid twos on his chest. Okay. Uh, I will block it. Couple back okay. Deuces. Don't you have like a double striker, or was that guy? What, hey, what happened? Did, yeah, what you block it with? Why would you, you block it with the double striker? <laughs> hey, it survived. Pass turn. Untap. Uh, Oath of Druids. A swamp. Uh, Mage's Attendant uh, enters the battlefield that create a 1-1 one, one blue creature token with pay one, sacrifice this creature, counter target non-creature spell. I'm going to have to make a proxy politically correct Flame Swordsman just for Austin. Hey, Swamp. All right. Uh, oh, at the beginning of my pre-combat main phase, I'm going to choose all of the above. I'm going to create a treasure token. Uh... Boom, I'm going to draw a card. Boom. And then I'm going to create a 3-3, three, 3-2 three, three, colorless shapeshifter creature token, which I can't find anything, so let's put you under you. And then you are a 3-2. Do you think if I keep saying gender fluid, they're going to flag this video? It's already been flagged. Oh, no! Yeah, a lot of already reported this. Yeah, what? Sure anyone who comes across and sees you <laughs> talking like that will probably take it as offensive and get buttered. Bro, away. it's not offensive. I'm not making fun of gender fluid flame swordsman. <laughs> what do we got in the graveyard? Ah! <laughs> He's oh, like, I'm oh, getting out of here, bro. I ain't getting banned with y'all. Hold on, I got this. He's got You've enough problems with the law. Have you seen this, man? They found me. I hit the backspace. Hold on. Build table. T oh, I lost his back. What video? All right, what do we got in the graveyard? Yeah. What's this card do? Interesting. Austin paying the big six life. Get that maximum value out of those underworld connections. Or I black guess market. It's black market. Oh yeah. So I will say there's a pretty good chance I win next turn unless somebody kills me before my next turn. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I feel like I may have just made myself a target. Uh, I don't know. Can I get one of you guys to block my corp soccer and kill it? How big is it? It's a 4-2. Uh, yeah, I'll throw two goblins at it. All right. I'll swing corp soccer at you. All right, I'll block it with two goblins. Okay. Corpse Auger dies, and then when he dies, I draw X cards and lose X life or X to the number of creature cards in my graveyard. Is it your One, graveyard two. or any player? Uh, target choose. player, so I'm going to pick me. Yeah, I got the most. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, definitely. <laughs> Lose 11 life, down to 12. You know, if I had just, like, ran fewer creatures, I would have already won, because Oath of Druids would have milled me to death. I wonder how many I had. Yeah, Oath of Druids is uh, pretty good in your deck. It is, deck, right? Maybe you should cut a few things and play it like a polymorph, sort of. Yeah, dude, that's what I was thinking. Well, like... I was hoping to get Consecrated Sphinx or Niv Mizzet out with it, and then I drew both of them. Well, those are the only two creatures in your deck. And <laughs> that means they're in my opening hand, or I draw them or something. Yeah. Uh, I will play a Plains.
Did you guys take two damage when you played your lands? I did. No one else did. Oh. Down to ten. Stevens, you play a land? Did, bro. Was I supposed to take two damage? Yeah, yeah take two damage. Okay, did anybody have any creatures come out, or is it still Austin's turn? It's Austin's turn. Austin had a token. He had... Yeah. A token and mage attendant come out this turn. And uh, another token here, so three. Okay, I got the first one. Let me get the other two back. Here we go. Yeah, that's not what we're going to do some work. Yeah. Uh, not much I can do about that except kill him quicker. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Brandon had a fun game where uh, we both went infinite when he was playing Micaeus and I was playing this. <laughs> yeah. And, but we couldn't kill each other because we were both infinite at instant speed. <laughs> it ended somehow. I don't remember how. I think you ended up winning it some way. Some way. Pay one and sack a treasure for Arcane Signet. Well, y'all got to hate me for. What are you talking about, Steven? Y'all's over there talking about, well, we're going to have to kill Steven for his next turn. <laughs> well, you're the we one that told us. You win. Yeah. <laughs> You're the one that told us. I, to. <laughs> I could be bluffing. You don't know. Well, that's a shitty thing. I to don't think you're about. bluffing since I told you how you to win next to turn. <laughs> Ron reminded me I had Mizzix's mastery, and then I went and got it. <laughs> like I'll just go play that. <laughs> hey, one, two, three. Oh, well, in my thoughts, you could just flashback it, and it worked. But I was wrong. I'll pay, it's uh, it's uh, overload, not flashback. I'm paying three for Savine's Reclamation. Return target your permanent card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. What's your targets? Uh, Haven Mind Sensor. All right, and then I will. Okay, let me let me think. Sensor. Are you responding? Yeah, I think I will. Well, Ryan gets first priority. And then I'll respond after Ryan, potentially based off what Ryan does. I have to think about a card here. Maybe just a sec. Let me get my deck list and make sure I know how this card works. The lotto, of course, the two cards that I talked to you about, Song of Creation and Sundial, are at the very bottom of my graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> Along with an exiled Aetherflux. So my only hope is that Laboratory Maniac wins me the game. Ryan, what are you doing? Okay. What are you responding? Um, to know if I'll pay three. I'm going to respond to the target of the mind center in the graveyard. Uh oh, he's going to target the mind sensor, I bet. Nah. I'll tap three creatures here. And. Uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. One, two, three, and then Soul Ring and then one of the planes for six mana. I'm gonna core to calling. For X is three. Hey, I got a question real quick. What's up? If I were to copy that, would the X, X get copied? Yes. X is yes. three? Yes. Okay, I think I'm gonna copy that. I. Narset's reversal, brother. Really? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Oh. Tutor, your three drop. Well, since Austin was so happy about the first Yu-Gi-Oh proxy, let me show him my oh. second one. <laughs> Dryad of the Elysian Grove. The only two, don't worry, I didn't put any others in here. That's all. Uh, ETB, I'll gain a life. Can I respond to it coming in? Yeah, sure. I'm going to sack a goblin and target the treasure token. 
I'll tap sack the treasure in response for a balloon. Okay, any more responses? Nope. Oh, uh, bro, I thought he was gonna like exile something out of your graveyard, but your seven's reclamation is just gonna resolve. Okay, uh, I will discard down and pass turn. Well, no, for some uh, reason, everyone's determined to prevent me from tutoring. <laughs> I ain't done nothing to prevent you from tutoring. Everyone else can play tutors. Ryan plays tutors, everyone aggressive, aggressive eyes. <laughs> okay. Um I'm gonna Car Bygone Bishop, Myriad Landscape, Orzov Basilica, Shambling Vent, Rhea's Retribution, and Orzov Sigmund. I gotta do this. I'm gonna play a snow covered mountain, take two. Uh, I will then go to. Did combat. you reveal your card draw? I did not know. Okay. Uh, I will. Uh, yeah, you know what? Math is for blockers, right? Hey, we're friends, right? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm swinging all of this at Steven. Uh, so that's six two twos, a three three, and a three three Grinzo. <laughs> wow, that seems pretty aggressify of you. It is a, a little aggressive, if I might uh, say. So am I dead? I don't know. I didn't do the math. Well, I said check you had a deck, but you don't right now. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> I don't know how it got over there. That was weird. Uh, so how many How many are attacking me, Brandon? Six two twos, a 3-3, three, three, and a 3-3 three, three Grinzo. Did a creature come out this turn? No, nope, not yet. No, bully. <laughs> okay, well, I'll block the Krenzo with the with the Dryad of the Elysian Guardian. How big and is then that? he is a two four. How big is Grenzo? Three, three three. And then I'll block whatever the next biggest one is with uh, Eternal Witness. And then I really kind of want to save my um, this Essence Warden Lab Man. And storm kiln, but how much damage would I take if I just blocked those two? Uh, six times two, so 20, twelve. Twelve. Okay. I'm joking. Uh, I'll just do that, and then I'll just take twelve. Eternal witness will die, but big old booty Celtic guardian will survive, and I'll take twelve. Go to twelve. Okay. Can Ryan deal twelve damage to me before my next turn? Tune in next time. You're assuming Brandon, you it's assuming Brandon doesn't use a six mana to kill you. I have uh, <laughs> one card in hand at the moment. Uh, can you do any damage, Ryan? Or enough to kill him? Probably not. Mm. You think it's a bad idea for me to make a shitload of goblins? Well, I probably could have killed him. But <laughs> That's a great idea, idea brother. Really. Everyone was determined not to let me kill Steven. If you make a shit ton of goblins, you're going to give Steven a shit ton of life. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I'll pass turn. You can do that at instant speed after Steven dies. Or wins. Oh, that's really <laughs> true. You guys have unlocked my special ability. Conceding. Get to watch me eat dinner. Oh. Untap. Draw. Hmm. 
Well. What are we doing, Ryan? I'll uh, pay a green and tap Fauna Shaman to discard a creature card. I'll discard uh, my restoration or reclamation save, sorry. Uh, and tutor for a creature. So I'll look at the top four. Yep. The heart of the cards, guys. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I can only get a creature. I'll grab a Quasily Pride Mage. Well, I'll be right back. I mean, Ryan, it's not guaranteed that I win next turn, but it's a pretty good possibility. I mean, it's guaranteed that I lose if I concede. <laughs> All right, well, I whiff there. Um, only one option left. I'll uh, convoke Court of Calling X's six and look at the and top four top. again. I um, I don't. You're gonna counter it again? I don't know. <laughs> Man, I wish that. I don't know. Do you I have a sack? No. Do you have a? You don't have a sack out? Then I'm not gonna counter it. But I'll let you know that I could. I mean, I can only look at the top four cards anyway. <laughs> I'll let you know that I've got Pact of Negation, but I don't want to have to pay that five man on my upkeep. All right, well, I whiff completely. Man, Magic is fun. See what happens when you get to play Magic, right? No, 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 no. I played a deck with tutors, which meant that I'm no longer allowed to play Magic. But everyone, now, are... but everyone else can play tutor decks. That's perfectly fine. Y'all always hating on me whenever uh, everybody says, oh, Steve uses the same 90 cards and he runs 15 tutors in every deck. For the record, this deck no runs no tutors because it's a uh, pre-con. All right, well, I'll last turn and hope Steven can't kill me because I got two fogs. Ooh, on tap. Did you play any creatures, Ryan? I did not. That would require me to actually have gotten any creatures. Upkeep trigger. I'm going to reveal from the top. Hey, Descent into Avernus. I was hoping to draw that card. Did I get to play it this game? It's that new enchantment from uh, Commander Set. Show and tell. Wheel of Fortune. Also, I didn't do my Oath. I the Scrawler. I didn't do my Oath of Irish trigger. That sucks. Gain a life, brother. Uh, oh, go I to draw. You, Everyone gets it with me. Hey, there you go. Drop a land. Shame. Eight mana to overload Mizzix's mastery. All right, GG guys. I'm gonna pay one, sacrifice my wizard token, and counter target non-creature spell unless its controller pays one. Okay, he gets a treasure I, on the cast. He sacks the treasure. I will. Um, yeah, generate a treasure on the cast of Mizzix's mastery. And I suppose it, Austin could respond with the treasure on the stack if, the, if he wants to do it right. Yep. Yeah, do it that way. So he has a creature that has an ability that's countering a spell, huh? Yep. yep. That's not a spell. Man, you just knew I had Pact of Negation in my hand, didn't you? You did say out loud. <laughs> I, I did <laughs> also <laughs> tell everyone at the table that this was the case. Yep. You're Why, welcome. dude? Why do you got to do this to me? You're welcome again. 
Uh, can well, I respond? I mean, Austin is playing the creature prison deck over there. <laughs> is it too late for me to respond? It runs even more than the attack still. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, real quick though, real quick. So when I upkeeped on Oath of Druids, Psychosis Crawler came out, and then I drew a card. So when I draw a card, each opponent loses a life. Booyah, everybody loses a yeah, life. Yeah, I want, I want to, uh, yeah, okay, but fine. Can I respond at the end of the stack? So I'm waiting to see if I want to respond to what Austin's got going on, but you do have priority if you want to. All right, yeah, I'm gonna it. sack a goblin and kill the uh, psychosis crawler. Oh, because he's an artifact, dude. Screw that. <laughs> so we don't oh my goodness, bro. Why does everybody hate me so much? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no. don't worry, Steven. Neither one okay. just to play magic. <laughs> Okay, so Psychosis Crawler dies, and then this gets countered. Yeah. You get the treasure now. <laughs> yeah, I got my treasure. I got my treasure. I can drop an extra land this turn with my Dryad, so I'll do that. I'll okay. drop a Wasteland. Dude, whatever. <laughs> Screw you, Ryan. You have 28 life. That wasn't me, did man. You your, uh, did you take two for your first land? No, I didn't. Leave me alone. <laughs> Good lord, brother. Just trying to win magic over here. <laughs> I got two mana left. I got one thing I could do, but I, I don't think I'm going to do it. Because it'll probably get countered. By all the blue decks we have at the table. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, every, like, how is everyone at the table, like, you'll more blue? A, you'll cast a blue spell on Brandon will Power Blast it. Well, technically, the wizard <laughs> agree it was blue, so there you go. This white black okay, uh, Brandon, do you have any blockers? Yes. He has lots I of blockers. A, <laughs> I have a 4-4, four, four, a 2-2, two, two, and a 3-3 three, three at the moment. And approximately 10 one ones. Three, uh, two twos. Yes. Yeah. Right, Ryan, I'm going to swing the... No, I'm not. Am I? I can fog. I know, <laughs> but like... <laughs> I'm so close to death. I might just need him to block, dude. All right. Well, I, I will let y'all know that I had played a wasteland, and it can destroy a target non-basic land. So uh, okay. I will blow your land up if unless you don't mess with me, Pastor. I only run basics. Uh, untap. Okay. Well, you're exempt from that. <laughs> I mean, Brandon can kill you. Okay. <laughs> Druids. So a planes. What was Oath of Druids? It's just the creature and everything else goes, right? Yep, everything but a creature goes to the graveyard. Yo, there goes all my lands. Oh, that was four planes in a row. Hey, that saves uh, you a uh, life. Awesome. Uh, Malakir Blood Priest. When Malakir Blood Priest enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life and gains, and you gain X life where X is the number of creatures in your party. So I control every creature of the party. I control the rogue, uh, a wizard, a cleric, and a warrior. So nice. each opponent loses four life, I gain four life. Cool. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Brandon, please don't kill me. Uh, I don't uh, think I have to. Draw a card. I'll let you draw a card if you don't kill me. Do we each <laughs> take three or four? Uh, four. That's what party is. Yep. 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 Okay. Is that the new party commander? Yep. Yep. That thing's cool. I haven't uh, played it yet. About to get real mean. I like the idea of a party deck. I'll involve commander. It has party mechanics on it, but I don't use it. Yeah. I will I will do the uh, black market connections again. I will. What do I want to do? Austin, you play a creature? No. Yeah, uh, a creature came into play. I didn't oh, play it. Oh, okay. I gave a lot. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. For a Dire Fleet Ravager. When Ooh. it enters the battlefield, each player loses a third of their life. Round it up. Oh, what, uh, what's that for me? 12? No. Yes. 30 life. Hold on. That'd be 2 life for you, Steven. 
34. You said a third? <laughs> that sounds like a good deal. Rounded up? Uh, yes. Rounded up. Yep. So, so 11.33? So 12. So 12. Bro, I'm, I'm not going to counter this spell at all. I love this spell. Okay. Uh, 14 divided by 3 is so I lose 5. I lose 2. That's a cool card. I like that. Ixalan. One of the Ixalans. Okay. Uh, Steven, do you have any flyers? Man, I've been really bad. How big is Amy Moss history? 2-4? Two, two. It's a 2-1. You're about to deal 50% of my life in the air? Do you have any creatures with flying? I don't think so, dude. Oh, no, he does not. Uh, oh, hey, wait a minute. I gained a life off of the dude coming in, so would I be at five instead? After the round uh, rounded up, no. Yeah, you would have lost three. So I would have been at, I been at seven that I would have lost or a third still, rounded up. still be at four, yeah. yeah. you still be at four? I'm still at four? Oh, man, that sucks. Uh-oh. Uh, I'll swing two in the air at Steven. I can't block. Okay. Uh, and then I will pay one, activate black, sacrifice a cleric. This is a cleric. Target player loses life equal to the sacrifice creature's power, so Steven loses three life. Bruh, I didn't counter your spell on purpose. Oof. Oof. In response. Sack the treasure for a blue. And tap Wasteland for a colorless to cast out a Words of Wisdom, which will trigger this guy. I'll generate a treasure token. Uh, I draw two cards, and then each other player draws a card. Okay. I'm giving you this gift, Brandon and Ryan, to avenge my death on this day. Uh, I have one mana remaining. Uh, someone please cast a spell on the stack so I can counter it before I die. If I don't not, think then I'm, I don't think anyone dead. wants that. Bro, that's not very nice. Okay. Look at my face right now. So I guess now's the time I should start playing Lance. Still got Zozu on the field. Yep. I'll play a Swamp, lose two. Pay one for an Archpriest of Iona. Austin, that kills people. <laughs> Power is equal to the number of creatures in your party, so it's a four or two. Okay. At the beginning of combat on my turn, if I have a full party, target creature gets plus one and gains flying until my turn, but we already passed that. So I will pass turn. Uh, but, like, really, though, uh, like, my deck wasn't that bad, right? I'm going to tap Krenko with your instep and huh. create five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, it's a hell of a lot stronger than my deck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty strong, but, like, it wasn't doing, like, real mean stuff. It was just generating a lot of value, you know? Nah, this, part, nah. this deck's just running interference right now. The, dru down the down Druids there. is really strong, and that was really all your deck really did. Bro, the uh, the precons can teach us all a lesson today. Run more removal. <laughs> this deck runs a good amount of removal, actually. I'm surprised. Um, lots of dudes, lots of removal. Equals win. Uh, Ryan <laughs> has a fog. Got two fogs. <laughs> One of them's a frog. Hmm. I'm gonna. Do I want to? Yeah, I guess so. I'm gonna pay three mana and cast Legion Mob Boss. Um. Legion mob boss. Did you do the uh, wheel thing? Or? I didn't hit it. Okay. Um. And this is Brandon figuring out, trying to read all his cards. Well, there's only two of them, so it's pretty easy. I'm going to... Hey, bro, remember who gave you that other card, though. I helped you draw a card. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to swing 15 two twos at uh, Austin, and I'm going to swing Grinzo 
uh, the one one goblin from Legion, or the two two goblin actually from Legion, uh, War Boss, <laughs> and Sensation Gorger at Ryan. Uh, unless Ryan wants to fog, uh, I think that's it for me. Uh, I'll just don't do it. Uh, you don't need that fog in a turn, dude. Ryan, you do know that I'm like. I'm not really a threat anymore. That's right. He's not in California anymore. Yeah. <laughs> eh. well, that's up to you. My my whole opinion of what was going on changed because Stephen let me draw a card. All's forgiven. Oh, I got you. Okay. <laughs> so you drew some Titan confirmed. Oh. Uh, so Brandon, you got what seven coming at me? Uh. Did you really three, draw some Titan though? Six, seven, eight. Eight. Um, I'll throw this in front of Grinzo. Did you really drop on that note? And take okay, so you, five, I guess. Uh, six, uh, I uh take, three, yeah, five. Uh, I take 20 after blocks. Oof. Yep. Uh, well. All right, Brandon, we at least up. I oh. lose to Ryan. Uh, maybe. No, nah, I think Brandon still got this. I'll take third place. I draw. You killed the Yu-Gi-Oh guy. That's all that mattered. Yeah. What? Magic's Magic's purity has been avenged. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whatever. I'll play a land and take two, Brennan. All right. We have here. Okay, assume. One of these days, I'll play. I'm gonna actually cash Riku. One of these days. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna pay four and play Safi. What? I gotta get some food. Now, Sun Titan. <laughs> Did you draw Sun Titan with my words of wisdom? No. Oh! He still has Spawn of Shaman, though. Yeah, true that, true that. And he can search his whole library again. Yeah, true Which that. is probably why he wanted me dead, but that's fair. No, I didn't need that anymore. He did draw it. It's all good. And it comes down to, like, did Brandon draw Chaos Warp? This chaos warp might interrupt me. I'm just gonna have to go for it and see what happens. I'm gonna go grab snack food back. Cards. I'm gonna sack my spore frog. You may ask why, but there's reasons. Why? <laughs> reasons. Oh. And then I'll pay three. And I'll cast Renegade Rallyer. What'd I do? Renegade Rallyer enters the battlefield. I'll click on it. How about that? Uh, when Rene Renegade Rally enters the battlefield, if a permanent you controlled left the battlefield this turn, return target permanent card with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So I'll look in my graveyard and grab an altar of dementia. There it goes right there. <laughs> hey, bro, you got that destroy your artifact thing? I do, yep. I have to I have to wait for something to happen so I can destroy it. I mean, he said he can still use it in response, I guess. But yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Didn't think about that, did you? I think that's fine, though. He thinks. You yeah. Hear that, folks? Yeah. He I, I think. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll sack Safi to her ability to target Renegade Rally. In response, I'll sack a goblin and blow up the altar. There you go. Hmm. <laughs> I will... Use the altar to sack Renegade Rallyer. And I'll sack my Angelic Renewal to bring Renegade Rallyer back. Bring back Spore Frog. <laughs> <laughs> now is that right? No, that's not right. I'll bring back Safi with the with that trigger. And then altar explodes and you mill uh three, Brandon? What do I mill for? Because that's what Alter does. You mill three. 
Oh. That thing you blew up. Cavern of Souls. Throne of the God Pharaoh. That would have been real bad for you, pal. Legion Loyalist. Yo, uh, my, my Riku deck can, can win on turn one. It has that capability if I have the right cards. So can my Are you kidding me? Bro, I'm so serious. I don't believe you. I'll show you how right now. You will see. Nah. Maybe after the game. All I need is this card right here. Well, I need more than that card right here. I need a couple cards, but hang on. All right, Brandon. Uh, before the altar explodes on the stack, I will go to sack Renegade Rally. So your thing's still up here. Uh, what? Your explosion in effect is still on the stack. I'll sack Renegade Rally as well. Do you have a response to that? No. Okay, I'll sack Safi targeting Renegade Rally again. Do you win? Mm, <laughs> no, because you can sacrifice a goblin and destroy this at any time. As an instant Do that! <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I did. I'm right? just doing a lot of stuff. At, I'm doing a lot of stuff like while it's floating. I'm trying. I'm trying to okay. find value. Do I need to be blow adding extra triggers onto this stuff or no? Uh, if you kill it now. I don't think I can do anything about it because I had to use this card that was over right, here. I'll, to, to, I'll sack another goblin to get target. one more one more meal out of it. So you're gonna blow it up this time. Okay, this yeah, time I'll it'll explode. Where's the thirteen? There it is. I and... took it off my side. Bad luck. Like a hotel. Oh, actually, I can't do that. <laughs> you look like Tiger Woods. <laughs> oh no, bit. He said that. I thought you was Tiger Woods. I love it. Turn one win, dude. Yeah, I think I fucked up, but that's all right. Everything's fine. <laughs> Is it, Ryan? I or are you going to get gobbled up by goblins? I'm going goblin mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'd lose to Brandon. Yep. Show and tell. Um. Omniscience. Song of creation. Play my whole deck. For free. You're dead. Yeah, I think I whiffed there. That's if I had done that before I died on turn one. That's what would happen. Uh, I concede and save us the time. Hey. Right. Yay, Ryan conceded. He can concede hey. anytime. Yeah, Yay. I messed up when I brought Safi back the first time. I, I, I did need to bring the Spore Frog out to stall for a turn. Well. Bro, that game was fun even though everyone targeted me. <laughs> Did they? <laughs> I stopped you from winning. I <laughs> pretty yeah. much. I didn't really. Yeah, win. dude, you guys did a real good job of stopping me from winning like a lot. <laughs> um, I was like, dude, I could have ended that that freaking game like two turns earlier had some things not happened, and uh, well, they happened. 